Generally, uh, like I can be quite harsh on myself, so generally it's not until I've watched it back where there's stuff I'll be like, oh yeah, that was great. Oh, I did that mint. But, um, oh, fuck it. People enjoyed it. I'm happy with that. I did a big slam, which the crowd like did actually affect me there. I feel like I wouldn't have like ran across the cage and tried to dump him had the crowd not went, oh. So I was just to be like, I'm going to do a slam instead of just putting him down sensibly. Um, <laughs> But yeah, fuck it. It is what it is. Uh, I mean, it went to ten, apparently. So yeah, I, lot, lot I'll lose brain cells for your pleasure. A lot of tough opponents in the in the promotion. Do you do you know? Have you an idea as to why that might be, or is it just that you entertain and and get people going? I am trying to rack my brain to think what I have done to Ian Dean. <laughs> like what? Like what could I have done? <laughs> Like, I don't know. Um, fuck knows. I'll live. I want a can next time. Only cans. I want you to find me an opponent. Do you know what? Fuck it. I am actually proud of myself there. Because, like, like, I knackered my hand back in March. And, like, uh, throughout this entire camp. Uh, pardon me. Yeah, yeah, tell them how you knackered it, you idiot. Oh yeah, I punched a wall. <laughs> I got a cut, which I, I got, I got a cut, which I think has reopened here. And it was like I was meant to be fighting in Manchester. I didn't have an opponent yet. It was like two weeks out. I was dead frustrated. Someone in that session had gouged my eye trying to escape from Rhea naked. So I was just fuming. And then I got dragged into an extra round I didn't want to do. The guy tried it was a bald guy, so his head quite like sharp. Escaped a back control and nutted me. Um, and I got this cut, and I was like, "Fuck's sake!" And I punched, the, the, the wall was matted, but like some of the walls on one side of our gym are very soft. And the mat on this wall was on a pillar and I thought it was the same matting. It's not the same matting, it was dead hard. So I was like, fuck's sake, boom. And then my hand just went And now I've got like these fucking ridges on it. Um, they said it didn't, there was no break on the x-ray, but it's fucking, it's a different shape now. So the entire fight camp, I had no confidence in my ability to hit with my right hand, but I dinged it off his head a few times, which is nice. And then at the ver the very first spar of fight camp, that dickhead cut, cut my forehead. So I threw a left hook and he ducked his head. So like, I had, this I had to wear fucking head guard. I've had to wear a scrum cap. Every fucking round of grappling, I've had to wear like some bandage around my head, nearly near my eyes, blinding me in a scrum cap. Fucking looking like some utter dickhead for like eight weeks when the gym's been boiling and I've been fucking overheating and burning up. Um, so yeah, generally, shit fight camp. Felt pretty ill. I've had this cough every evening for the past fucking however many weeks. First time I've been nervous on a fight day in forever. Couldn't fucking it. Do you know what? I'm just going to complain. Fuck this shit. <laughs> um, well, it was an incredible fight. Have you ever considered being a shrink? <laughs> <laughs> regretting coming in at the end now. <laughs> uh, positive. No, but it was an amazing fight, so thank you so much. And yeah, uh, majority draw, but still, you did, like you said yourself, you didn't lose. <laughs> I bet it was uh, cartilage. I bet it was cartilage who scored it a draw. He always scores it against me. <laughs> always. Once you're recovered, though, will you be jumping into camp then with the bro? Yeah, like, because it's like both of us play a big coaching role with one another. So, like, indirectly, if anyone ever says they prefer one hard work to the other, they're actually complimenting the other hard work. Like, which is a thing you don't realise. Um, so, like, yeah, um, I'm going to... I don't think I'll be doing any rounds with George for the foreseeable. Um, for now, I'm just going to have to fucking eat loads and do bicep curls and shit. And then direct however his training's going. Uh... I'll see how I feel. I might be able to hold pads for him again this week. 